In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem, understanding the definition of enthalpy. Let's take a look at the information that's um, being provided to us in this problem and what it's asking us to do. The problem is telling us that the energy of a system is decreasing by, by 377 kilojoules. Let's make a note of that. The change in energy for the system, because the energy is decreasing, it's negative 377 kilojoules. And we'll make a note down here. So if the um, energy is decreasing, that will mean that we have a negative value of delta U. And if our energy is increasing, that will mean that we have a positive value of delta U. Um, the next thing it tells us is that the reaction is taking place at constant pressure. So at constant pressure, that just means that our value of heat could also be described as enthalpy. When we're at constant pressure, heat can also be referred to as enthalpy. And then last thing, it says um, 68 kilojoules of work is done on the, the mixture, the system. So work being done on the system means that the system is increasing in energy as a result of the work that's being done on it. Specifically, we have 68 kilojoules of work that's being done. And we can make a note of that as well. So when work is done on the system, that means that we have a positive value of W. And when work is being done by the system, that means that the system is losing energy, so that would be a negative value of W. And the problem is asking us to calculate the change in enthalpy. That's this right here. So to calculate the change in enthalpy, we're going to use the equation delta U equals Q plus W. Or for this particular problem, because it's at constant pressure, instead of saying Q, we can say delta H. So delta U is delta H plus W. And it wants us to solve for the value of delta H. So we'll plug in our delta U value, negative 377 kilojoules. And we'll also plug in our W value, 68 kilojoules. And then we'll just use some basic math to solve for the value of delta H, which is negative 445 kilojoules. And that's the answer that we put, want to put up in this box, negative 445 kilojoules. Make sure you're paying attention to uh, however many sig figs it wants. And the last thing is that it's asking us if this reaction is exothermic or endothermic. And we're going to get that information by the sign of delta H or delta U. Exothermic has a negative delta Q, and also that means it has a negative delta H. Endothermic is going to be a positive Q and a positive value of delta H. So since this has a negative value of Q or delta H, that means that this is exothermic.